Hello folks, it's Kissing88 here and a package came to me from Japan just now. So uh, let's um, find out what's inside. So the sender is Kenji Ogawa, which some of you may know as a pretty uh, uh, famous ocarina maker in Japan and, and performer and, and teacher as well. So let's uh, I've remove the bubble wrap. Uh, let's get into the box. <coughs> I'm using my reasonably sized knife today because um, in my last video I used my big knife and it it, it actually um, got a little bit dangerous because my hand could have slipped and I could have um, cut myself. So we got some nice uh, got some newspaper padding, some some bubble wrap, and it's inside a box. Um, okay, so in the package we have a leaflet, Ogawa Ocarina. Let's see what's inside. Oops. Okay, the leaflet includes uh, a bunch of instructions and maybe some fingering chart, but it's all in Japanese, so it's not something that I can particularly uh, read myself, but maybe at some point I'll get a friend who can read Japanese um, to let me know what it says. But that being said, um, I don't usually uh, need to read information and instructions that come with the ocarina because you know that uh, I know how to play ocarinas in general and I usually know what I'm buying. Uh, let's have a look. So let's get into this box. Okay, it's a nice uh, presentation cardboard box. Oh, inside there's even more bubble wrap. So. So basically he had bubble wrap outside the cardboard box and inside the cardboard box he had more bubble wrap and padding and and this, this box itself was wrapped in padding and the ocarina is also um, wrapped in padding inside the box so it's a bit of a lot, lots of padding inception going on here. Uh, yep. Wow, look at that. That thing is that's, that's just beautiful. I gotta say, it's definitely one of the most um, pretty ocarinas I've had uh, in my collection. I've never played an Ogawa ocarina before, so this will be my um, first time um, trying one out. So let's see how we go. I gotta say, um, compared to expectations, uh, it does use a bit more breath than I expected because um, I was under the impression that Ogawa ocarinas were gentle breath ocarinas, but uh, with the one I ended up with, um, there definitely is an increasing breath curve, and you do need to use particularly good technique and angle the ocarina in a certain way to get the high notes to ring. Um, obviously, this is my first time using this ocarina, so it will get me take me a bit of getting used to, to, to play all the notes clearly and in tune. Um, but uh, yeah, let's uh, go to a quick recording and see what I can do with this thing.